notable there, you can see former President Trump sitting next to Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin, a member of the business community before he got into politics. Many CEOs, business leaders around the country have concern about Senator J.D. Vance, some of his policy positions for tougher regulations of major mergers at corporations. So to have Youngkin there tonight next to Trump shows that it's not just all about populist positions on economics. There's room for Governor Youngkin and his types as well. And now here, Kimberly Goldfoyle. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Like you, I have spent much of my time the last few days in prayer. And I know that God has put an armor of protection over Donald Trump. We are all reminded that love for our nation and the beauty of life itself transcends all hatred and political divisions. I stand before you tonight, more convinced than ever, this is the most important election in our lifetime. This election will decide the fate of our great nation. And that is why we must elect President Donald John Trump. This is not just a choice between Republicans and Democrats. This is a choice between safety or chaos, wealth or poverty, national sovereignty or open borders. This election is a choice between Joe Biden's vision for American weakness and Donald Trump's vision of American greatness. Donald Trump will once again make our country strong, safe, and prosperous. He will make America feared by our adversaries and respected by our friends. And most importantly, he will always put America first. After four years of Joe Biden's disastrous America Last Agenda, our country is more dangerous, vulnerable, and impoverished than anyone had thought possible. President Trump handed Biden a booming economy and a strong nation. All Joe had to do was leave it alone and take a nap. But Joe just couldn't help himself. Joe Biden cannot lead America. He cannot even lead himself off a stage. Now Americans are drowning in inflation. Insanity spreads like a cancer in our schools. We are closer to World War III than any time in my life and we are facing an unprecedented invasion of millions of illegal aliens across our southern border. Rioters and looters go free, while Biden and the Democrats persecute American heroes like Donald Trump. Tens of millions of Americans are made to feel like enemies in our own country. An enemy for wanting to defend our border, for not wanting our children indoctrinated in school, for not wanting to erase our history, for praying to our God, saying what we think, and fighting for what we believe. It is no wonder that the heroes who stormed the beaches of Normandy and faced down communism sadly say they don't recognize our country anymore. This is not an accident. The powerful elites in the swamp will say anything to crush and destroy the America First movement, but we will never give up and neither will Donald J. Trump. I 
know I speak for patriots everywhere when I say we are fed up. We are outraged about sex trafficking and drug trafficking across our southern border. We are fed up with the forever wars. We are done being told by the radical left to sit down, shut up, and obey. The Democrat vision for America is governed by fear, hatred, and political oppression. Our vision is defined by a love of our country, love for our fellow citizens, and our love of freedom. In our vision, we will secure the southern border and deport the violent criminal aliens once and for all. In our vision, America will combat foreign aggressors and ensure our service members are protected not abandoned as they carry out their dangerous missions abroad. Because we know we can only have peace through strength. We will restore an era of national pride where freedom of speech is respected and cancel culture is ended. where high school girls only compete with other girls, not biological men. Where struggling cities never put criminal illegal aliens above our heroic veterans and brave law enforcement. where our streets are not ruled by gangs and rioters, but governed by law and order, where students are freed from failing schools and corrupt teachers' unions through universal school choice, where our most sacred institutions are not weaponized against political opponents, but are fair, equal, just and where we teach our children to love our country, learn our history, and respect our American flag. I believe in America. I believe in our freedom and liberty. And I believe in Donald John Trump. And I want Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and all of the radical Democrats to know this. We will not be bullied into obedience. We will not cower in silence. We will fight for America because we love America. before you as a working mother, a former prosecutor, a Catholic, and a proud Latina. I know personally what every American has now seen with their own eyes. I know the measure of the man that stands before us. Donald Trump will never stop fighting for you. Join me in voting for Donald J. Trump for president again. <laughs> Victory is in our sights. America's future is in our hands. 
America's destiny is in our control. And America's prosperity is in our hearts and souls. America, this is your moment. Will you stand for President Trump? Rise up! Rise up! Ladies and gentlemen, lovers of liberty and freedom and the American dream, this is our last chance to make America great again. God bless you. God bless President Trump. And may God bless America. And that was Kimberly Gofoil with a stem winder that the, brought the crowd to their feet. She was remembered during COVID in the 2020 uh, convention uh, delivering an, a stem winder as well that really became a meme in some ways too. She is a fierce defender of the president and married uh, to his namesake, his son who also holds the same namesake.